Welcome back, Trader Troops. So Cardano, we finally see some movement. We are currently up 11% on the day. We've been waiting for this for a while. I'm here to give you a quick update. As always, I'm going to run you down through my technicals, tell you where I think it's going, where I think it's headed, all the way from the weekly time frame down to the one hour time frame. So you're not going to want to miss it. Watch it all the way until the end because I'll give you a bunch of key levels to watch. All I ask in return for that is a quick smash of that like button and subscribe if you're new and hit that bell notification icon if you haven't already because I do post in real time and it's very easy to miss miss my content. So let's get into the video. So Cardano up 11%, finally seeing some sign of life. Cardano has been struggling the past few months or the past few weeks here. Let's start off on the weekly time frame. So what we're going to see on the weekly time frame is that we currently just bounced from the 786 Fibonacci retracement from the low all the way back in May of 2021, and then the high of August of this year as well. Okay, so we took a Fibonacci retracement tool from there, and we can see that the 786 is exactly where we bounced and this is why we use Fibonacci retracements because they can be very very accurate as you can see here the low was a dollar 41. If we drop down to the daily time frame, what we're going to see is some pretty good things, okay? We had this massive level of support that we outlined a few weeks, possibly weeks or days ago. I don't remember, I post so much, and that's why you subscribe. Okay, we outlined this zone right in here, okay? We had two zones that we were looking at. This one, which of course we broke through, and then we had the second zone. Now you guys know these reaction zones, that's what we like to call them, reaction zones. Usually when the first one doesn't hold, the second one most of the time will at least give you some sort of small reaction, and here is a great great example of that happening in real time. And if you're interested to learn how I trade and how I use all the tools that I do, feel free to check out the Measuring Markets program, link in the description down below. We actually have a live session today, 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, okay? So we see that this second zone is now actually holding perfectly, and that is a great sign because obviously when a level of support is holding, that's a sign that buyers are starting to step into the market, okay? If we zoom into the price action here, you can see we had this really long lower wick and then followed by, of course, some smaller red candles and green candles, and now we have today an explosive move higher, also confirmed by RSI. If we take a look at the RSI indicator, we're going to see that we have a huge spike up on the RSI indicator, which is a great sign because that is a sign that the trend is reversing, okay? And we just came back from being oversold. So this is definitely an area of good value in my opinion. There are some obstacles that do still stand in our way. The first one being that we are still yet to be above the 50 level on the RSI on the daily time frame. If we're not able to trade above that 50 level on the RSI, then we are technically still in a downtrend. So it actually acts as a level of resistance. Once we test that, uh, that 50 level, it could act as a level of resistance. Not only does that act as a level of resistance, but we also have this $1.80 to $1.90 area, which was a previous level of support. Okay, that level of support broke, and now, of course, it becomes a level of resistance, which is this red zone, and that's why, <clears throat> and that's why you can see that it is now painted red. Now, the good news is that we do have this bounce at this level of support. In my opinion, I think this is as low as Cardano should go unless we have some sort of crazy fallout in the market, and then we, you know, obviously go much, much lower. But in my opinion, I think this was just about the bottom for Cardano, and if we do assume that that is the bottom, now we can start looking for targets. So where are we going to look for targets on Cardano? The first spot, of course, first we're going to have to get back up above this level of resistance. But then we also have this level of resistance up here. That's probably going to be our very first target because obviously if we target this level of resistance, there's not much room for profit there. But so if we if we target this $2.30 range to $2.47 range, that's going to be about 30 to 40% higher. And that is the worst case scenario for Cardano. So worst case, you're making about 30 to 40% if you're buying at today's prices, which if you were subscribed, you would have been buying at much better prices, right? Now, the next target is going to be an ABCD pattern to the upside, right? We had this massive bull run over here. We're going to take that. We copy and paste that forward. And that's why you see this line right in here. And that gives us a target of roughly $3.53 right up there, okay? So that is simply an ABCD pattern. If you don't know how to use the ABCD pattern, feel free to check out the Measuring Markets program. I have an absolutely free video there on everything you need to know about the ABCD pattern. But basically, we're just taking this move and we're projecting it forward as if it was going to do the exact same move, right? And that gives us 
us a general target of $3.53, which from current price is going to be 103% higher. So there's definitely plenty of room for Cardano to grow, especially off of these levels. If we do end up going lower, of course, I will keep you guys updated. But for right now, very bullish on Cardano, and I did, in fact, buy more at this level. So thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to smash up that like button and subscribe if you're new and hit that bell notification icon because I post the latest and greatest cryptocurrency technical analysis on the internet. And feel free to check out the Measuring Markets program. We have a live session today. Link in the description down below. Thank you guys so much for watching again, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.